हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी चैप्टर नंबर 11 ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड 11 कॉमर्स सब्जेक्ट अकाउंट एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज बैंक रिकंसिलिएशन स्टेटमेंट सो टुडे अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम मोर एग्जांपल ऑफ डेबिट क्रेडिट मेथड सो हियर इज अ सम नंबर 6 लेट्स सी इलस्ट्रेशन नंबर 6 बैंक बैलेंस एज पर कैश बुक ऑफ रुचा ऑन 28 टू 15 वाज 10000 डज नॉट टैली विद द बैंक बैलेंस एज पर पास बुक सो हियर द बैंक बैलेंस एज पर कैश बुक ऑफ रुचा इज 10000 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सम विद द कैश बुक एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कम टू द पास बुक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट हियर बैंक बैलेंस एज पर कैश बुक And that is of rupees 10,000. So, bank balance, as we know, bank balance has debit balance. So, that is. So, now, prepare a cash book of Rucha from the following information. So, here, they are asking us to prepare a bank reconciliation statement and we have to reconcile the transaction. So, here, Check of rupees 10,000 were deposited with bank. Out of which check of rupees 4,000 are credited in bank till 28 to 15. So here uh, we have deposited check in the bank. But from that check of rupees 4,000 only uh, credited by bank. So 6,000 check which is not credited in bank. We are going to credit in the bank reconciliation statement. So here check deposited but not credited 6000 first transaction check deposited but not credited so that will be 6000 now let's see the second transaction. So here, a check of rupees 4000 is issued and recorded in cash book, but it is forgotten to given to the customer. So here, a check issued. So issued check is credited to cash book, which is debited in the uh, which is remain debited in pass book. So here, we are going to debit it in the bank reconciliation statement by 4000. So here, check issued but not uh, given to the creditor. Second number, check, issue, but not given to a creditor. So, check is of rupees 4000. So, that we will write on the debit side. Now, let's see. The third, the third transaction, insurance premium of 12,000 is paid by bank which is not recorded in cash book. So when we are making payment, we are writing on the credit side of cash book which is remain uh, unrecorded. So here in bank reconciliation statement, we are going to credit 12,000 so that the um, balance of the bank book and um, cash book will be tallied. So here. Insurance premium paid by bank which is unrecorded in cash book. Third. Paid by bank. But not recorded. in cash book. So here we are going to credit it in the cash book by 12,000. So that we are going to make a bank reconciliation statement. Transaction number 4. A customer has deposited directly 20,000 in Richa, Rucha's account which is known to Rucha on 1, 3, 15. So when the customer is depositing money in the bank, in the passbook it is credited. So it is supposed to be debited in the 
cash book but which is remain to debited so here in the bank receipt conciliation statement we are going to debit the same project <coughs> So, number four, amount it is deposited by customer in bank, which is not recorded in cash book. Let's see the transaction number 5. Bank charges of 100 recorded by bank is recorded price in cash book by mistake. So bank charge is supposed to be credited in the cash book. So it is twice credited in the cash book. So if we are going to debit once in a bank reconciliation statement that will be fine. So here in the BRS we are going to debit the same transaction. Two, Negative five one more transaction. So for that, when charge is recorded twice in cash book. When charge is recorded twice in cash book. So that will be rupees 100. Now, let's see 6 number. Check of rupees 6000 deposited with bank 127 to 15 is dishonored. The information received by Rucha on 33 15. So check is dishonored. So when the check is dishonored, bank is debiting our account. So same we supposed to credit in cash book. But Rucha wasn't known about it and she hasn't uh, credited in the cash book. So here we are going to credit the same. Six number. Check this one. Which is Unrecorded in cash book. So here six thousand. Now let's see seven transaction. Check of rupees eight thousand were issued, out of which check of two thousand were presented in bank on one three fifteen. So here. 8,000 uh, check of rupees 8,000 issue. So that we have already credited in the cash book. But out of that one check of rupees 2,000 was presented in bank on 1,315. So after 28 to 15. So that 2,000 check is supposed to debit it in BRX. So check issued but not presented in bank. Now, let's see transaction number 8. A check of rupees 4000 uh, deposited, which is not recorded in cash book. This check is not collected by bank till 28 to 15. So here, check is deposited, but which is not recorded in cash book. That means the transaction is not recorded in cash book. And which is not even collected by bank on 28 to 15. So it is not recorded in cash book as well it is not recorded in um, 
pass book. So there is no entry in the bank reconciliation statement. So for that, uh, we are going to write that this transaction will not record in bank reconciliation statement. It is not. It is not recorded. It will not recorded. Interest credited. Then we are going to write on the credit side four thousand. Now let's see eleven number. So here, bank uh, bills receivable of five thousand dishonor with bank is discounted with bank is dishonor on twenty six to fifteen and bank has debited the same along with the noting charge of fifty. Entry of dishonor of bills receivable is not made in cash book till. Twenty-eight to fifteen. So it is already debited by bank, which is remain to credited in cash book. So here we are going to credit it. So here one number. This receivable. Not recorded in cash book. So that will be five thousand fifty. Now let's see last transaction that we can see that the twelve number bills payable of three thousand maturity maturing after one month was. Retired by the bank under rebate of rupees hundred twenty eight to fifteen, which is not recorded in the cash book. So here, bills payable is already uh, given by the bank that we already paid. So when we are paying, that time the amount is debited by bank, which is supposed to be credited in the cash book, which is remaining to be credited. 
and here we got the discount of rupees hundred. So rebate we we are going to deduct from three thousand. So amount will be two thousand nine hundred that we supposed to credit. So here twelve number will payable. Paid by them. Not recorded in cash book. So two thousand nine hundred. So now all the transaction are finished. Now let's make the total of both side. So here we have to leave one line for the balance and then make the total. So here we can see that the total of the debit side is more ten thousand, four thousand, twenty thousand, one hundred, two thousand, and two hundred. So that will be thirty six thousand three hundred. That we will take to the credit side thirty six thousand three hundred. And if from thirty six thousand three hundred, if we deduct all the amount. The balance will be two hundred fifty rupees, and this is the credit balance. So this is the balance as per passbook. Bank balance. As per passbook, which have credit balance. So this is how we supposed to solve the sum. Student, you may not done this in your. notebook thank you for watching this video